Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we are working on a 2015 Toyota Corolla, putting another remote starter into this. I've already gone ahead, got somewhat started. Get some light in here. I got the unit almost where I want it. We got the main ignition wires run around. So now we're going to start getting that ready. Get them hooked up there. Hook up down here at the OBD plug. And see if we can't get this car working too. Stick around and we'll get her going. <laughs> So here we are, we have our ignition harnesses here. Uh, this one here doesn't have an accessory wire, so you won't see the orange wire in this harness. But it does have the second ignition, which is your pink and white. So the first wire we want is this little tiny white one. That is our starter wire. Which we'll be connecting to our purple wire from the unit and like normal we're just using the iData link HC series it's HC1 To get to uh, the ignition wiring here, it's actually quite simple. There's two screws that hold the steering shroud on. They're right behind the steering wheel. So you just turn the steering wheel, you'll see the two Phillips head screws. Take them out and then gently pull down on the bottom half of the shroud. And after enough twisting and pulling, it comes off. And that'll open up all this area right underneath here. And there's your... And that'll be for your wiring, for the ignition wiring. Alright, so there is a starter wire, this grey one is our ignition number one, which would be just a solid pink wire. You have to, do have to be fairly delicate with these wires, they're just little tiny things. They're like an 18 or 20 gauge wire. Look at them wrong, it'll probably break on you. So our next wire is this blue one. That will be our main power. Now there's only one wire in this car for the 12 volts. And that's why there's only one 12 volt wire here.
And then we have our ignition number two, which is the dark green wire. It is pin number eight in the connector right up here. Because we have two different greens. There's a light green and a dark green. It pin number eight shows that it's the green, the darker green wire. And just like that, that takes care of our main ignition harness up here. We're going to get the, the park lights. They're going to be down here in the fuse, below the fuse box junction. See if we can't get a good video, video for that too. But right now we're going to go do the can wires. The can, the cell data, and our ground. Because that's all going here to our OBD plug. Alright, so here we are. Getting right to our... Uh, OBD plug the red and the white wires in pin 6 and 14 they are our can wires right here just like that twisted together the red that is our can high wire which are brown red from the HC unit is a can wire as well is a can high sorry it's a red wire is a can high brown reds are can high So then directly across from it is our white wire and that one's our can low which will connect to our brown and yellow wire off the remote starter.
Then we have a light green wire in pin number seven, which is right next to our can high wire. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there, that one is our sill data. Which from the remote starter is our orange with a black stripe. And then we have our ground wire, which always goes to pin number four. So we know that this can high wire is pin number six. So we go two more over, brings us to this white with black wire or black tracer. That is our pin number four. And you can also see the numbers depending on your eyesight on the on the connector itself if you if you want to double check and verify And that takes care of our connections at the OBD plug. That's our can wires, our sill data, and our ground. There, so now we have our RDA auto lights and we have the option of hooking up two other wires and uh, it's for the T tire pressure monitoring system. If I connect them up, you can use the factory remote for the remote start. If I don't hook them up, your factory remote doesn't work when it's remote started. But uh, I'm going to be nice, I'm going to hook them up, which yes, it's a couple extra wires, but it makes it that much nicer for the customer. So just hang tight, we're going to get going to the next step. Well, probably should have checked this out first, but we don't have the tire pressure monitoring system on this vehicle. Uh, if you can see this white connector, let me move that harness out of the way so you can see. It's a second one in from the left. Uh, a little bright. It is this connector right here, and on pin number 26, which is the third one down from the top on the right, there should have been a blue wire. We don't have that blue wire. We have an empty spot. So that tells me we don't have the tire pressure system in this car, so we don't need that one. So now we can continue on. Got three wires left, the RDA and the auto headlights. All right, I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to video this, so I'm gonna show you right away. 
This is off the bottom of the fuse box, center plug. You have a green and a purple wire. They are pin 16 and 28. The purple one is your auto light. That one there is going to be cut. And then the green one is your RDA wire, which does not get cut. <laughs> so I'm going to put the camera over here. Hopefully, you can see somewhat of something of what I'm doing. And if not, that's why I showed you ahead of time where those wires are and hope, hope it helps you out. So we have our orange white wire from the remote starter is our AD RDA wire, which is going to go to our green wire that I just pointed out up here. And just when you thought they couldn't make the wires any smaller, they give you these. There, and now a purple wire. That I showed a little while ago. That is our auto light wiring. And that is cut. Make sure only to cut that one wire. Last thing you want to do is have to splice together a couple extra wires because of a mistake. that so now you have a gray black and a gray red the gray red is the connector side so that goes to the wire that's still into the connector which then leaves our gray black wire to be the vehicle side.
that one down so we can get to it. Excuse me. And like always, I will be back to make sure I to clean up all these connectors, make them look all nice and neat. Push it in until you hear it click, and away we go. Now we're ready to program this thing and see if we did it right. All right, we are back. We're ready to give this a try. Let's try the door locks. Yeah, they work. Unlock works. Trunk. Oh, trunk opened. <clears throat> Now the all-famous question, will it remote start? There we go. Try the takeover. And it works. And with the takeover done, there's no lights on the dash. Yeah, let's see if it starts with the key. Three lock button pushes. There we go. I must have missed it the first time. And just like that, this fires up. Shuts off the same way with the key. So with this, we're gonna put it back together, give it back to the customer and uh, let him be happy. All right, so we got this uh, 2015 Toyota Corolla finished up. As you can see, the dash is back together. Door locks, they work. Trunk release works. And the ever important remote start. Heater light heaters on in this particular car. So you can have the, the heated seats on. The button stays down, so you can leave the heated seats on if you want to have a warm butt when you get out here in the morning. But uh, so another one finished, another one done. So if you liked it, stick around, hit that subscribe button, hit like. See what else I have coming in. I'm sure I'm going to have some more remote starters to do, along with some more powder coating. And uh, throw in a couple stereos as well. So if you like this, want to see more, like I said, hit that subscribe button, click like. Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment saying if you like it, if you hate it. Let me know what you'd like to see more of or less of. And, uh, yeah. So, until next time, 
stay warm, keep it loud.